All right, guys, welcome back to another gun build and Modern Warfare 2. Today I'm going to be using, technically, uh, got to be one of the most hardest guns to possibly make any kind of real use out of. And it is going to be the TAC M. It's going to be the Marksman rifle version of the SCAR platform. And, you know, I would absolutely love this gun. And, you know, I my whole deal for my entire channel just kind of go around to use uh, some type of weird builds for a single gun to make it either, you know, good to use in some type of way or we'll find a really good strength in it or you know just make some like really weird kind of build for this gun but how this gun sits right now it is just really weird on how it's programmed for at least on paper you know it would make sense for the developers to make it how it is but it just doesn't work out in game for like how well they would actually imagine it so technically, the whole idea behind this gun, I want to go over this for like why it's actually built like this. It's supposed to be a way longer range version of all the bolt action marksman, rifle, uh, marksman rifles in its category. So it is technically a lot more forgiving when it comes to guns that, you know, compare to the SAB-50 or the SPR-208, which technically have the second to best ranges, even though the Lockwood Mark II and the uh, LMSA says it has like way more damage range it really doesn't it, it's about the same they're a little bit more forgiving in shots but they don't really have the same for range it's probably bolt or a uh, bullet velocity but the sab 15 and stuff like that so uh the sab 15 and spr 208 they are bolt actions so they will hit a lot harder it's supposed to be like you know way faster handling sniper rifles they're going to have a way less forgiving fire rate when it's compared to all the other marksman rifles, which are semi-auto or lever action, I guess, uh, which will be a bit faster, uh, just a little bit. But uh, so they have to make the shot count. So they'll make it to where it's still like a chest or upper chest and up to the head for a one shot kill area where it's kind of like a really low fire rate to kind of balance it out. So a little bit more forgiving if you are going to be using that one shot. So for the TAC M, they wanted to make it to where it is going to be the closest thing to a more forgiving sniper rifle and have longer range. So it's going to be like the more buffed longer ranges in the EBR-14, uh, the LMS, and the obviously going to be way better than Lockwood Mark II. That's just a way faster version of the bolt actions uh, all around for its category, but it's more so the better version of the LMS and the EBR-14. Way better at longer range than all of them and a little bit more forgiving than the bolt actions. So they wanted to do this, but then they also have to balance it in one other way. So it is a little bit more forgiving and uh, when it comes to fire rate. So they'll make it to where it's only a one shot kill if you can land the head and that's just fine. It has two great uh, damage effective uh, damage profiles anyway for ranges. And that will make it to where uh, even at really long ranges, you will have to be hitting the head to get a one shot kill. And that makes sense, you know, like if you're using the bolt action sniper rifles, Outside of its effective range, you're going to be aiming for the head if you want that one-shot kill. Uh, you're going to be treating all the guns exactly the same at that kind of range. However, it lacks when it comes to uh, way slower rate of fire compared to the EBR-14 because they just don't want to make another copy of the EBR-14 where it's a two-shot kill, one-shot to the headshot with just longer ranges. Uh, there would be no reason to use the EBR-14 at that point. So it is a way slower fire rate. And it's only a one-shot headshot to the head, making it to where if it's anything outside of its longer range use where you're supposed to be using it, it falls short. Like everything will be able to kill you faster. Uh, I think the only weapon that will actually be able to kill slower than this gun is a riot shield, which takes over an entire second in order to kill. This thing takes 260 milliseconds in order to kill someone. Uh, I'm not really sure what any other gun would actually take that amount of time in order to kill someone. It used to be the M13, but that thing got buffed to where now even that thing is fast. So, the gun is kind of odd. So here's my suggestion for the weapon for an actual buff to it. Instead of increasing the fire rate, like I said, they'll just turn it to where it's a, a better EPR-14. Make it have something like the F-Tank Recon or the Lockman 7.62. It's like programmed for their damage ranges. So... It's more so prominent in the F-Tac Recon. You can definitely stretch out the range a little bit better, but the Lockman 762 has that for a way shorter damage range. Uh, but they have a one-shot headshot potential in their first effective damage range. 
and that extends to at most uh, 20. Uh, at the maximum, it's 20 meters for the Lockman 762. For the F-Tank Recon, it's like 25 to almost 30. So it's uh, a little bit better than that. So that's uh, one thing I wanted to go over there. And we just kind of apply that same one-shot uh, headshot potential to the body for the Tac M. But instead, it's going to be a more close range of one shot to the upper chest. So similar to the, uh, let's see, the Marksman rifles over here, similar to the Lockwood Mark II. Everyone knows that as the hit marker machine because it can only get a one shot kill to the upper chest or to the head. And it's a little bit, it has like best in handling when it comes to anything. It has the best mobility potential. And the only thing that's actually about on par with it when it comes to handling is the SAB-50. But it has a way faster fire rate, but it has way less damage range and all that kind of stuff. So people use it for maximum quick scope potential. And that's what's actually like really cool about it. So we kind of use it like that. It's going to have a upper chest, like real upper chest kind of uh, multiplier to where it is going to be a one shot kill. Probably like one fourth of its first effective damage range. Uh, for some type of a little bit more forgiveness up close. Of course, it is not going to be like going towards the lower torso or anything like that or over to the shoulders. You have to land in the upper chest or making it a little bit higher. So you do have a little bit more forgiveness in that area and is a little bit more usable. The gun can be built to where it is incredibly good at handling, it has really good uh, reload speeds, really good attachments that you just kind of stack on each other to where you can make it to where it is incredibly fast in order to, to use. And I'll show this off. Uh, put on the smaller barrel and all that kind of stuff. Can I put on a smaller magazine? No. So I can put on the sight maybe. As you can see, you know, we can aim down sight. This is about as fast as you could possibly get it. So it's not too bad when it comes to handling. Reload is also really fast. So it's not too bad at all when it comes to any kind of handling. So you can easily snap on and hit someone's head. Or even hit the chest like that. So it's going to be like a longer, or not really a longer range uh, Lockwood Mark II because it'll still have a cutoff point to where like real short ranges so it'll be a slightly faster firing Lockwood Mark II uh, when it comes to a damage profile and close ranges but it will still be a little bit more forgiving it won't have the same handling the Mark II Carbine like I'm going to show here for the actual example the Mark II Carbine does have a beat when it comes to just sheer handling speeds so let me go ahead and go over here. This thing is more built for actual quick scoping. You can do that. You can also remove the stock entirely. So as you can see, you know, it's already crazy. You can also put on a lever on there for a faster fire rate. Uh, I think we can also put on that guard there. We can also put on a smaller barrel. Let's do that. And then now you can see So as you can see, you know, real short range, it's pretty much a quick scoping shotgun. Obviously anyone outside to like 20 meters is going to be, uh, or about 24 meters is about its max damage range. So about 24 meters or 25 meters for the attack M would be a really good one to have. Like even out there. So uh, the Lockwood Mark II would definitely have a beat out in just sheer um, handling speeds. So it would actually fit fairly fast or like fairly well when it comes to handling and actually like fit really nicely within its category while still having a really good potential for up close engagement. The low rate of fire is fine because you don't want another EBR 14. So you just have to make it manageable when it comes to long uh, or like a little bit of adjustments to damage range anyway. But outside of there, I mean, like, it has a one-shot headshot potential at any kind of ranges. Don't get me wrong, it is the best gun when it comes to long range out of every other marksman rifle. It is technically compatible with all the other normal sniper rifles when it comes to maximum ranges for a one-shot headshot. So it is actually stretching it out as much as you possibly can, uh, which is not too bad at all. And even if it actually drops on its uh, effective damage range for a one-shot headshot, you can follow up shots a little bit quicker than normal sniper rifles, even in this category. So you would be able to have a really solid uh, fire rate to back it up. 
So it is not too bad at all. It just doesn't have anything to make it to where it has a little bit of a chance of competing with anything else in the game. So let me know what you guys think about this whole like idea for a buff. I know this one is a little bit drawn out, but uh, I think I had a large amount to explain just to have the idea get pushed uh, forward there. So go ahead and let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.